Ryan is released from the spool. All stations, check step 86 and 87. Caller is released. All stations, balloon launch time, 17, colon, 45, colon, 33. I repeat, launch time, 17, colon, 45, colon, 33. All right, you that looked pretty good. We need launch. Uh, please go ahead and start looking at your telemetry. Make sure your all systems are healthy. Uh, we'll come around and do a poll here in a minute or so. Time to relax. And as we've just seen, the balloon was released at 43 minutes past the hour, and two minutes later, the vehicle took off. Dan, explain what we're seeing right now. Sure. So we're watching the test capsule rise higher and higher in the air below the balloon. Uh, looks like the launch went beautifully. Uh, the balloon, uh, the balloon launched, uh, sort of paid out the cable uh, below it until it got directly above that capsule. And then you saw the launch tower quickly move out of the way, allowing the capsule to cleanly uh, move upward and start to ascend underneath the balloon. So at this point, uh, the team on the ground is checking the health of the, the vehicle, making sure that all its systems are, are healthy and looking good, and um, just making sure that, uh, that we're on track. So right now, that vehicle is on its way to 120,000 feet. 120,000 feet. We are complete through step 88 for the TC's checklist. Yeah, keep the net task disabled. Just for comparison purposes, uh, 120,000 feet is about three times as high as a 747 flies. So this is going to very quickly pass through the altitude that you would fly in a passenger plane and go much, much higher than that. So we're standing by watching the ascent. 
And in about 15 minutes, maybe a little less, we expect to get a poll from the team and a health and safety poll of the vehicle, and we'll be back for that. Copy that, MD. Balloon is ascending through all stations, BPO. Balloon is ascending through 5,000 feet. Balloon systems are green. OC, this is TC on Project Net. Go ahead, TC. Yeah, the traffic I copied on the other net, is that reference to uh, the NASA pad that's clear for personnel to enter? Roger, that's the red label area. Okay, thank you. Flight BPO, this is TC on Project Net. This is BPO, go ahead. Go, go TC. Yeah, just letting you know that the uh, launch pad is clear for uh, personnel to enter. Uh, copy, TC. TCO, copy. The launch pad's clear. Uh, pad Chief, flight on TV net. All stations check steps 89, 90, and 91. You're watching live coverage of the second test of the LDSD project. You can see in your screens right now the test vehicle being hoisted aloft by the gigantic balloon. It is on its ascent right now to float altitude, and float altitude is 120,000 feet. It'll take uh, more than two hours to get to that altitude. And just a short time ago, we heard from the team that it had already reached the 5,000 mark. <laughs> 